Hey everyone, today we're looking at a DeepSeq R1 autocoder. Uh, we are using the latest reasoning model for this. Uh, it's open source, so you can download it and use it. You, it's actually currently running. It has two versions, one that just runs and uh, that just builds and improves code without running the code. That is this file right here. Uh, pretty cool. And But I, generate, I created another one called autocoder executor so this this is the one that is running actually and it actually when it runs in the code it uh, fixes it it runs the code for a total of five seconds and if it reaches timeout we consider that a successful run it uh, tries to improve on the so you just enter a pretty simple user prompt here in this case create a beautiful tower defense game and you set the number of iterations and it just generates the code if there is an error, it passes the last 500 characters of the error, and here is the code timeout for. And it just keeps running it. It actually just attempted to run it, and ran into an error. While this is running, uh, if you wanted to run this uh, generated codes, you can actually create a, a split terminal right here and run it here. But a better way to do it, more convenient, is to go to File. This is to say while this is uh, the autocoder is running, if you wanted to test out these codes that it wrote, let's actually quickly take a look at how many lines it wrote. Uh, it did write 570 lines. It has an 8K output limit, so it should be able to write code up to um, you know 8,000 tokens. Okay, but, so uh, to actually run these without disturbing the autocoder process, like I said, you can create a split terminal or you go to file and duplicate work duplicate the workspace and then now you can run this let's go ahead and run the first one uh select the top uh, it actually is getting an error it didn't detect this error because it doesn't have ability to interact with the game let's, one. let's place a basic tower okay the basic tower uh, seems to be working but it's not hitting it's hitting the enemy but uh, I don't think it is uh, reducing its health, so hopefully it'll hope to improve. I'm actually surprised by the, the beautifulness of this. Anyways, uh, you can download it and play around with it. Uh, it's still working here, uh, and it's open source, so the link will be below. Uh, I hope to actually add to this add some more improvements but it's pretty simple it specializes in generally uh, it it doesn't specialize in visually generated code but let's take a, actually take a look at its system message real quick this is the system prompt you're an, uh, to generate the original code you're an expert python programmer we ask it to wrap the code in a code tag so we can return it it doesn't support json mode or anything include all necessary imports Return the code for visual applications. We do ask it to make it beautiful if there is visual elements. By the way, uh, if you yourself want to learn I, how to code better, uh, I do code in cursor and actually I coded both of these files using uh, cursor. I do have a cursor course, which I highly recommend. You can also find all my videos at my website, echohive.live. Now, uh, this cursor course has uh, now 38 uh, chapters, 38 chapters, and each one of them is independent, and three chapters are free to watch. You can preview the first two minutes of each chapter, such as uh, using cursor as a stock analyst, tool calling agent basics, how to build agents with OpenAI Swarm library, how to build all one auto teacher, also how to build an all one data scientist, which actually scored in top 1% in Kaggle. So by becoming a patron, you get access to my 1000X course. Also, the code download links to about 400 plus fascinating projects. Just check it out. Link for those will be in the description. The error correction prompt is uh, to analyze the error message because we are passing the error message. Um, and it asks to return the full code because when I was testing it, sometimes it wasn't returning any code. And here's the improvement prompt. We ask it to Im implement visual enhancements, feature enhancements, and technical optimizations. So there's three DeepSeq agents working on this. Uh, 
actually completely switch course as you can see because I, I'm seeing here that it actually didn't return code or it didn't return the code in tags and then it completely went on a different direction. I guess things like that will happen. Uh, we can stop it and restart it. It's very cheap to use. Okay, like I said, it's open source. The uh, link for that will be in the, the description as well as my website and the link to my 1000X course. Okay, see you in the next video.